In this problem, we're looking at what the leading coefficient does to the graph of an absolute value function. And when I'm talking about a leading coefficient, I mean if your absolute value function has a number out here. So instead of y equals the absolute value of x, you'd have y equals 2 times the absolute value of x, or y equals negative 5 times the absolute value of x, or y equals 1 half times the absolute value of x. So what do these different leading coefficients do to the shapes of the graph? Well, first of all, if you have a negative, like this one, it flips the V upside down, and you get this downward opening V. So looking at these examples they've given us here, you can tell this has a negative coefficient, this has a negative coefficient, while these two are positive because they open upward. That's the first thing to know. The second thing to know is that the bigger the number is, whether it's positive or negative, the larger the number part is, regardless of the sign, the narrower or more squished it's going to be. So this one probably has a pretty large uh, number part, even though it's negative. Um, and this one does too, something greater than 1. 1 gives you this 45 degree angle. This one looks almost close to 1. It's a little less than that. This one, it looks very wide. These wide ones, that's when you have these fractions that are less than 1. And the closer those fractions get to 0, the shallower, the wider those Vs are. So those are the main ideas to know here. Let's see if we can answer these questions. A says, for each coefficient, choose whether it is positive or negative. We did that. We labeled our graph, so that's easy. A is negative because it opens downward. B is positive. C is negative. And D is positive, another opening upward V. All right. Next, it says, choose the coefficient closest to 0. So as I said, the closer the coefficient gets to 0, the wider, the more spread out that V is. This is definitely our widest, most spread out V. So I'm going to choose D for that one. And then C says, choose the coefficient with the greatest value. And what I said was that the narrower it is, the bigger the number part is. But we have to be careful here. They're saying greatest. This is negative, and this is negative. So neither of these are going to be greatest. In fact, this one is going to be our least, because the number part is bigger, but it's a negative sign. This is going to actually be the least value. Our greatest value is going to be the positive one that's the narrowest. And in that case, it's got to be b here. So that is a little bit of work with how the leading coefficient changes the graph of an absolute value function.